Yo, what's up guys? My name is Steven and welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video. Now today we are going to be going over four things you probably didn't know about Clash Royale. So the first one right here is actually the Hog Rider Tornado Glitch. Now if you put a building right on the river and you tornado the Hog Rider, the Hog Rider will actually be the only ground troop that is able to be stuck on the river by a tornado blast. Probably the Goblin Barrels too, but they're going to die instantly because of the tornado. So we have to scratch that out. And anyways, we're just cycling back through and hopefully we can get like three more tornado hogs done over here. So this time I'm going to use an elixir pump. So hopefully we can like keep the hog rider there for a longer time. Hopefully it does counter the princess soon. Um, I'm getting my tornado ready and okay, looks like he's going to drop goblins and the goblins. Oh shit. They're actually going to take out the elixir pump. So I guess we are actually going to have to go with the Tesla again. Um, we're gonna drop the Tesla right there, uh, and hopefully he just drops off a hog right now. Um, we can wait the Tesla like out a little bit, but then that's gonna take too long, I guess. So here comes the Hog Rider, tornadoes up, and there we go, dragging the Hog Rider to the center after the Tesla just went down. And we're gonna drop another one. Just look at that, the Hog Riders constantly bouncing on the river. Um, we're gonna try it with the Elixir Pump next time, and hopefully we can pull off some like really cool effects off of this so i'm just gonna goblin barrel his inferno tower drop the ice golem right there and we already have our elixir pump cycled through so after the tornado should be the mirror and let's just drop this right there now we don't um have a princess down so he doesn't need to counter it with his goblins and here comes the elixir pump. i'm gonna give him the signal um here comes the tornado right after the hog rider is dropped so i'm keeping my finger right above the leaks are pumped so we can actually see its hp so if it goes like down to one hp i can finally just tornado that hog rider right there that was perfect that was a perfect tornado right there and right after the old tornado died i just spawned another one and we made the hog bounce on the river for like five whole seconds right there that was pretty cool guys but hopefully he does um end up like one uh, one crowning me right here i don't need to like continue this battle for any longer so we might just i don't know maybe drop our spark again or Let's try the elixir pump thing one more time. So here comes the elixir pump. I'm gonna give him the signal. Got the tornado ready, and I'm putting my finger right there so we can see the HP of the elixir pump. And there we go. Here comes the hog rider taking three shots off of the pump. And there we go. Here comes the tornado, and here comes the mirror tornado right after that. And look at that hog rider. I'm gonna zoom in right now. It's just so happily bouncing on that river right there. So right now, I just want him to quickly one crown me, I hope. I'm gonna drop like my Sparky and Ice Golem push. Okay, looks like he's actually gonna counter that. So hopefully he uh, does actually realize that I'm trying to end the battle. And uh, let's see if he drops his Hog Rider on, I can defend. So here comes the Hog Rider and Fire Spirit. So that should just wrap up this battle right here, guys. And let's move on to the next hidden secret about Clash Royale. So the next one, I'm actually going to be covering a glitch patch that has just been, uh, I think, fixed in the recent updates. Now, if you guys didn't know, Eclipse and me I actually made a video before Eclipse for once. I know, right? I didn't steal the video idea from Eclipse this time. So it was basically the Ice Golem um, protecting any troop that is killed by spell damage, I think. So if you, like, have a Sparky behind the Ice Golem and you rock it, the... Ice Golem, the Sparky, if it's caught in the blast, it'll actually survive. Same with the Princess. If you fireball the Ice Golem, then it's low HP. If you drop arrows and a Princess, it's behind it, it'll actually survive. I mean, the Princess, but, you know, the Ice Golem's obviously gonna die. And here, you can just clearly see that Supercell, they obviously patched the glitch. So guys, moving on to the next one. Now, in this one, we are actually going to be talking about the long-range Sparky glitch. So most of these hidden secrets actually consist of the Tornado. So that's going to be really cool right now. Um, the Tornado is definitely a really cool card, but I don't see it in rank play. So definitely the Tornado is going to be getting a huge buff soon. Maybe it's going to do damage to Crown Towers, or maybe it's going to do, like, I guess, a better pulling effect, or it'll pull more troops to the center more often. So here comes the Sparky, guys. So we're actually going to zap it right now and pull it back with the Tornado. So hopefully this does work. So the Sparky, it did lock onto the tower. Now, unfortunately, it did get killed by the Tornado, but we can do this like a few more times and see if this actually works out. So I'm going to toss that Goblin Barrel at his tower, and hopefully we drop a Tesla right here just to tell him to go to the other side. So he's going to drop an Inferno in the back. He's going to have to drop some Goblins right there. 
and we should have our zap and tornado ready so um i'm not gonna zap it this time so we're actually gonna have to like cycle again and there we go we got the tornado ready in our cycle so i'm just waiting for him to deploy a sparky and the sparky is coming through right now i'm just gonna have to like find the perfect placement where i can actually drag the sparky back but still keep it alive and well enough to take the shot on the tower from the bridge and if it doesn't work i'll just redo it again probably with a different deck so here comes the sparky blast here comes the tornado and looks like the sparky it didn't take a shot because I think it didn't lock onto the tower yet. It's just really like, this is really important of the Sparky and Tornado glitch. It has to lock onto the tower or it will not shoot. Um, I guess I just figured that out in my last video I made about this, but still pretty cool glitch. Um, I think we might just try it one more time and if it doesn't work this time, we'll just go into another battle with a completely different deck. So he's gonna drop the Sparky on the other side now and I got my Tornado ready and hopefully that does come in soon so here comes the sparky behind the king or behind the crown towers and i'm just gonna like i don't know drop an elixir pump i don't know what i'm gonna drop i'll just like not drop anything and wait for that sparky to come and here comes the tornado will it pull the sparky back this time to take the shot from the river i don't know but here um he's gonna zap my tower first and it's gonna take a shot and no it looks like i fucked that up so fuck that we're gonna restart it and we're gonna go into another battle with mr kitty and hopefully this does work out this time so he has the free spell i just recently told him to put the free spell in his deck so hopefully this does actually work out well so i'm gonna give him a good luck and he's gonna give me a good luck and we can hopefully start this off with a sparky on my side and let's see if the sparky tornado thing actually works or did supercell patch this and make the sparky like not shoot from the river anymore along with the ice golem so here comes the goblins first of all he's just trying to cycle through and now i'm thinking he has a sparky in his cycle already and it should be coming down at the tower any moment now so let's wait for that Fire spirits are coming in uh one's gonna take a shot and here comes the sparky guys we have to get our tornado ready right now so i'm just gonna drop an elixir pump in the other side hopefully we can actually like pull off a mirror tornado so we can drag the sparky back a little bit and then drag it even um back further so i think the free spell should be coming down any minute now i might have to zap it too so here comes the zap here comes the free spell and here comes the tornado the sparky is locked onto the tower and look at that from the river it takes a shot and it completely obliterates that tower to half HP. So I'm just... So guys, moving on to the next one. And today I'm going to be showcasing two of the only buildings that the tower or the crown towers actually get really pissed off about. Now the reason they actually hate these two buildings is because all other buildings, when you have a tower down on your opponent, if you place it at their side, they won't target it. But these are like the only two buildings that are able to be targeted by the crown towers if you place it on their side so one tower is already down hopefully the sparky and ice golem push doesn't take out his king's tower so um that sparky i mean it better go down soon the ice golem is doing some good tanking for the spike right there and look at that his opponent my opponent's tower is already down to like 100 something shit and looks like we did end up clutching that so here comes the tesla and if you guys saw that the tower actually took two shots before the tesla went underground so that means the tower obviously despises the tesla right there so tesla and elixir pump i think those are like the only cards or the only buildings that can actually be targeted while they're on the other side when you have a tower down so let's just keep on cycling. I'm going to drop one goblin barrel right there. One goblin barrel right there. And hopefully we can get our elixir pump soon. So the Tesla, it's almost about dead. We're just going to have to wait that out, obviously. Um, I think it's lifetime's like 40 seconds or something. It used to be super overpowered back then. It was like one minute lifetime and everybody was using it. And here comes the elixir pump. And as you guys can see, look at that fucking tower targeting the elixir pump while it's on my opponent's side. And these are like the only two buildings that I think can be targeted by my opponent's tower so that is gonna wrap it up for today's video guys be sure to leave a like down below if you haven't already turn on push notifications if you are subscribed to my channel and you want more content like this and i'll see you guys in the next video